Hi, I'm going to be making easy, beefy, cheesy nacho dip using our stack cooker. This is our microwave cooking product. It's lightweight, easy to clean, and it doesn't absorb the microwave rays, so it cooks your food a lot faster than, say, in corningware or any kind of stoneware. So this is our stack cooker. It comes with a three-quart casserole dish, a one and three-quarter casserole dish, and our cover, but when you flip it upside down, it's a quarter casserole. So you can do your rice, your potatoes in the bottom, you could do your meat in the middle with some veggies, and then you could do dessert on top. Uh, open up some fresh fruit, whether it's canned or just fresh, and then make like a nice cobbler. And you can have dinner and dessert ready in like 20, 25 minutes, depending upon what you're doing. And it's all in one container, and it's just really easy and simple. The other parts that it comes with is a cone. So if you put the cone in our three-quart casserole dish, it fits right in the middle, like this. You can put a whole chicken on the cone, just like you would beer butt chicken. Use this colander to put on top so it can kind of vent a little bit. And it takes seven minutes per pound, and you can have a whole chicken done. If you want, you can add potatoes and veggies, things like that. Um, add an extra five minutes, and dinner is served. You can also bake in here. So you can bake a cake in... 10 minutes or less and you can have a beautiful baked cake, perfect for any occasion. We are going to be actually cooking ground beef in the microwave. Using our colander, we're going to put the meat around these holes and all the grease and the fat is actually going to drip down into our casserole dish so we don't actually ingest it. Alright, so this is our ground beef. This is lean ground beef. I'm just going to put it in here. And I'm pushing it to the sides because microwave rays will only cook to an inch to an inch and a half into whatever uh, it's cooking. So this way the microwave rays will cook from the inside out as well as the outside in. All right, so we got that. I'm going to pop it in the microwave. Using, I'm going to be using my Power Chef. So this is one of our choppers. It comes with three really sharp blades. It also comes with a whipping paddle, so if you'd rather do some whipping, just place it in there and you can whip up your egg whites, you can whip up pancake mix, you can whip up cake mix, omelet, and you just pull the cord and it'll mix it up for you. We're going to be chopping today, so we're going to put our blades in there. There's a grip on the bottom that keeps it kind of sturdy onto your countertop. There's also a funnel that you can add, which fits right into here. So you can put this funnel in. When it's all the way to the right, you can actually measure about a quarter cup of liquid into here. And when you turn it to the left, then it'll drip down in there slowly. So if you're making your own mayonnaise or salad dressing, you can chop it or mix it as it's dripping in. I'm going to close that up. This is our motor. This little piece here, you want to take it apart just using either one of our citrus peelers. The part with the cord, you don't want that part to get wet. And I find short, fast pulls is the best way for chopping. So first things first, I'm going to put in some onion. So I have about a half an onion in here. I'm also going to add my jalapeno pepper because I want it kind of diced a little bit smaller. And I might as well add my garlic now too. So if you want, you can just throw your garlic in. I'm going to use our garlic press. The thing I like about it is it's really easy to clean. There's no hidden crevices or anything like that in here. So with my clove of garlic, I'm just going to put the end kind of where these bars are. And it's going to chop off, I can do it that way. I'm going to chop off the end. And we're going to do the other side go and then it just makes it really nice and easy to peel. So we're going to peel that. I'm just going to put it in the little chamber so throw it in there and then you're just going to close and squeeze. I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see it. And I like garlic so I'm going to do a few more cloves. got all that garlic out. I'm going to add my lime right now as well. This is our lemon lime press. 
You just open it up, put the line in upside down, and give it a nice squeeze. Look at all that juice. Here's a trick if you want more juice from your limes, just heat it in the microwave for about 20 seconds and you'll get even more juice. And it turns it inside out. Give it a nice locking twist and then just nice short fast pulls. And you have your onion that's nice and chopped, my jalapeno pepper, my garlic's extra chopped. We're gonna add some tomatoes. So I have my can of diced tomatoes, my can opener. You're gonna open it, spread it, slap it, and squeeze it on, and then just give your can a twist. Go quarter turn the other direction, open it back up. Use these little teeth on the top. Grab that top of that lid of the can and lift it off. There's no sharp edges. We're gonna throw our tomatoes in there. No sharp edges. We have some seasoning. It's our Southwest Chipotle seasoning. I'm gonna add about a tablespoon of that. Lock it back on and give it a few more pulls. There you have it, some fresh salsa. Easy, right? So you can see our ground beef. It needs just a little bit longer. So I'm gonna put it back in for about another minute and a half. Okay, so this is our great master. This is our base. It actually locks onto our counter, which is awesome. And then we have, let's do it this way. We have our, our base for the great master. We're just gonna lock it on so it's got nowhere to go. Okay, it's gonna stay there. There's a whole bunch of different cones that you can get. You can have our regular coarse cone, our small grater, our star. So if you wanted like a powdered, like your Parmesan cheese, chocolate, nuts. And we have our slicer cone. So it'll make nice little slices of your carrots, your zucchini, anything like that. And then we also have an ice shaver. So this one, you can actually make snow cones or even you can make uh, iced coffee with it. So let's just grate some cheese. Just screws on like that. We need a bowl. We also have a little hopper to help push it down. And basically, we're just gonna throw some cheese in there and we're just gonna grate. I'm gonna turn it this way though, so you guys can see it better. Just turn the handle. You'll notice there's no sharp edges in here, so you don't have to worry about cutting yourself. That quick and easy. You can save a lot of money just by grating your own cheese. So there's no more pink. And the best part, look at all of that grease and gunk and stuff that you don't want in your body. Ugh. I'm gonna pour some of our salsa in our three quart casserole. I'm gonna throw our ground beef back in our Power Chef so I can get the meat nice and fine. There we go. You 
can make smoothies in our Power Chef. You can make, you can chop all of your veggies in here. Any of your cream cheese dips, if you're into Epicure, they can go in here. And then we need to add our cheese. Now we're going to pop it back in the microwave for four minutes. All right, and with the magic of video, our dip is done. Let's go check it out. It smells good. Let's go give it a little stir. Can you see how melty that cheese is? Yum. So this is great if you just have tortilla chips or if you like to eat it by the spoon. That's me or it's really great on pasta. If you guys want to see it in person, let me know that this is our recipe that we're doing today. Thanks so much.